Hi there guys, Mark here on Caltech Crossbows. I got a little bit of a, a news bulletin for you today uh, regarding the UK government. They're trying to sneak in through the back door, as of three days ago, new proposals for British legislation for your crossbow. What does this mean to you? I'll leave the links below as you can go and have a look yourself on the government website. But in a nutshell, what they're proposing is that anybody in the country who had a criminal conviction within the last 25 years, so as FAC regulations, um, will be subject to scrutiny by the police and the government. So you could have had a clean nose for 20 years, you could be in your 40s, and he was in your 16s, 17s, 18s, could have been a bit of a wayward lad, but you've kept a clean nose since, it don't matter. If you've been shooting all these last 25 years, um, and enjoying your life with your crossbow, you could now find it removed from your possession or face a Section 1 firearms offence. This is what the proposals of the government are trying to push through. So having kept a clean nose for the last 20 odd years and a clean bill of health, held in a steady job, um, enjoying life with your family, you could now find yourself illegal. What are the government proposing? They are proposing the following, and this is the wording of the, web of the website. The first proposal, broadhead arrows. They don't say bolts, quarrels, or any other device. They specifically say arrows. So if you're a member of society, you're a keen archer at a local shooting club, um, you don't uh, go hunting, but you do have broadheads in your collection for personal use on target range work, etc. You will find yourself to be illegal. What do you do with your said equipment? The choices are simple. You either throw it away, cut it up as it can't be reused, hand it into the police, or sell it on eBay to America or something like that. Because if you've got anywhere in your possession, you will get the nick for it. You can't hand it on to your brother, sister, sibling, father, son and your uncle because they will then be subject to a firearms investigation themselves and they could find themselves in hot water. This doesn't just mean modern crossbows. This extends to vintage crossbows as well. The government are looking into the banning of all broadheads. So if you do uh, history presentations and you're in the UK, you could find yourself foul of the new crossbow regulations that they are proposing. So this is something you need to do, is look at my link and sign the petition and share it wherever you can to get people to sign this petition to stop these draconian laws. Because one day, your medieval crossbows like this one, which you've spent thousands of pounds on, they will knock your door and just take it away and you will have no say in it. So for those of you um, who want to lose your rights and privileges, just stay where you are and do nothing. Other than that, sign the petition and get some support. Don't let happen to crossbows or happen to pistols etc back in 1994. The British Olympic shooting team now have to train in France. They literally have to travel all the way to France from the UK to practice with competition pistol. This is preposterous. It's ridiculous. But what was once one of the world's leading gun manufacturers like Birmingham and Enfield, we now have nothing left. All manufacturers gone abroad and this is thanks to the Woke Brigade in Parliament. 
Getting rid of crossbows is not the answer, is better education is the answer. In the last 10 years alone, there's been 10 deaths by crossbow, by individuals who think it's acceptable. I don't. And this is why I'm petitioning. I don't want my rights taken away. However, in the last several years, more people have been killed at the hands of the police and through firearms and knives by youths and teens in London that have been killed by crossbows. And yet it's us in Wales, Scotland, Ireland, Cornwall, out in the countryside where we enjoy our country pursuits without any harm to anybody else. And we again have to suffer for the mediocre few who cannot control themselves. So sign this petition please ladies and gentlemen and protect your sport and your rights. Because soon it may be another part of your life and your enjoyment which will be stripped away. Thanks and bye bye.